meteorologist Chris Schrammick. You hear him daily. He's in our neighborhood. He lives here, and so he really pays attention to what's happening in the tri-state area. Good afternoon, Chris. Welcome to the broadcast. Let's talk about uh, what's happening now. We just got our first, which is probably the first of many uh, warnings that we're going to see in the next uh, six to eight hours. Yeah, Joel, this is going to be quite a weather event here this uh, this last, this last afternoon and evening. We do have our first warning that has popped up for eastern Carson County and uh, western northwestern Sherman County. Um, this cell right now is to the south and east of Burlington. Uh, in rural areas there of the southeastern Kit Carson that's heading towards the state line and moving northeast at about 30 miles per hour. Um, this cell is going to be crossing the Canarado area here Oh, probably in the next 15, 20 minutes, and then eventually to the west of Goodland. And uh, these storms this evening will be moving to the northeast. Um, I think uh, this cell it will be going here for another uh, till 3, uh, 30 out there mountain time, 4.30 here central time. And then we do expect more. Uh, this is a tornado watch until uh, 10 p.m. here this evening. It includes almost all of northwest Kansas. we got Dundee, Hitchcock, Red Willow. Yuma and Kit Carson out there in Colorado in our listening area. And uh, looking at the hill uh, severe relative velocity uh, parameters and some of the severe weather capes and that, the biggest and most severe activity looks like it could be the cells that pop up between uh, 6 and 9 p.m., particularly in that uh, once this uh, cell starts moving towards some higher dew points in that southeastern Cheyenne County, Rollins County, uh, maybe just to the north and east of Goodland, there's some uh, severe weather parameters are getting pretty high, and it could be this cell. When they reach into that area, the potential for rotation and tornadic activity will kind of kick in. So we are expecting these storms to have uh, the potential for up to three-inch size hail, and the wind gusts over 70 miles per hour, as they do have these warnings on them when they become tornadic, that's something we need to really keep an eye on. I'm particularly concerned for the folks in that McDonald, Atwood, uh, maybe Benkelman, Trenton, Cook, uh, those seem to be kind of a targeted area here uh, this evening for these cells. And then once we get even later this evening, uh, that once you know they get to the highway 2583, they'll continue to work their way eastward across the state. And uh, it does look like the severe weather will will keep fueling uh, with this uh, system. It is a upper level low that's very strong. It's about 990 millibar in strength, and uh, does have the potential, like I said, for a widespread severe weather event here this evening. All right, we're talking to meteorologist Chris Schrammick. Severe weather moving into this area, and and some we've kind of been talking about all day is the fact that there we're going to see some rain and thunderstorms for the next couple of days. Is the worst of the severe weather tonight, or is this something that's uh, really going to be a problem for the next few days, or does this turn into more of a rain event what happens as we move say past midnight and into the weekend this system here will kick off into eastern kansas missouri and the the midwest for tomorrow Uh, we'll just have some wraparound rain showers to be watching on this hopefully uh, we'll pick up some rainfall what's good about that second system or that upper level low that's out in the four corners area is it looks like it might cut off and move through here pretty slow and take a further south track through southeastern Colorado, southwestern Kansas, Saturday evening through Sunday. And if that happens, we don't expect any severe weather. I think that will be off again into eastern Kansas where the severe weather activity would be there on Sunday. We are probably uh, looking more like rain showers, maybe some isolated rumbles and thunder non-severe, but could be picking up some good rainfall with that as well. So, um, this is good timing for this. The, the, the worst thing is here, the severe weather this afternoon and evening, in particular when we start talking about tornadic activity. All right, Chris, we appreciate your time. Real quick, if uh, people want uh, access to apps, information, and things online, you've got some great resources. Yeah, if you go to myweathervalet.com, uh, you can register and sign up. If you put in... Uh, we can send you messages with these alerts and that. We've been doing that all day. And then if you have questions, I've had lots of questions today about track meets and all that. I know here in Atwood, we, we went and canceled all of our events as we use that info. And I had some, um, you know, Farm Bureau Insurance and them, and they've been sponsoring this Weather Valet app. And we're um, proud to put that out there. It's a direct messaging. So we're really focusing on that personalization for Northwest Kansas and local. And then we can get direct messages to you as you tell us when you got something going on. So it's not your typical weather app. 
What we're using for the weather information is if you go to myweathernow.com or it'll send you to our YouTube channel, we will be going live on there with our radars and our tools where you can watch us uh, talking back and forth with a team of meteorologists that will be from across the country about where these storms are moving, where they're going next, if we get any severe weather reports or pictures, and we'll put them up live on YouTube as we follow these storms here this evening. Yeah. And that is myweathervalet.com and myweathernow.com are the two websites you need to know for that. All right, my friend, Chris Schrummick, meteorologist. We appreciate your time. We will chat with you later. It is severe weather coverage. A service of Farm Bureau, Insurance, your local agents, Dave Brown, Andrew Flanagan, well as Pathway Ag and Roofmaster.